Well, um, had a rough evening slash afternoon last night. Uh, I was taking a load of grain, um, of Milo, taking a load of Milo um, into town. It was our second to last load of Milo. And uh, yeah, I pulled out onto the highway um, and uh, had gone down the first hill and uh, went up over the second hill. And as I got to the top of the hill, um, you can kind of start seeing over the the hill, and um, I saw a cattle semi uh, pulling a cattle trailer uh, drifting into my lane. I had maybe two or three seconds, uh, just a couple hundred feet, um, before he was going to hit me. And um, he drifted all the way to where the middle of his truck was on the center line. And uh, it was a pretty scary sight to see. Um, and I, I remember the first thing that uh, went through my head was, you know, I do not want to hit him head on. Um, I don't want to die. I don't want to, because I knew my my trailer was loaded. Um, so, you know, that's that's a lot of weight, um, a lot of momentum. And, and if I were to hit him, I didn't know if he was loaded or not. Um, the witnesses said he wasn't loaded, but if he'd have been loaded and we'd have hit head on, you know, I'd, I'd probably be dead. I probably wouldn't be here talking right now. And so I was hoping that he would swerve back into his lane. And so I was hugging the, the right shoulder, um, the best I could, but you can really only get about a foot off the road on, on the K4 highway there. There's, there's no shoulder and it's about a four foot drop, steep drop, um, off the, the ditch there. And so, uh. I waited till I thought was the last second. Uh, it all happened so fast, so I don't really know uh, for sure. It was kind of a blur after that, but hit the ditch and the truck stayed upright um, for just a little bit. I thought I, would, I was okay, but then the trailer, when the trailer hit the slope, it, it kind of whiplashed me over on my side and, and um, skidded to a stop, and I was completely sideways. Um, you can kind of see everything kind of broke apart when the truck slammed sideways and uh, I was still buckled in I've got a big old uh, bruise and and seatbelt rash on my shoulder this morning uh, but I unbuckled and kind of you know fell down and stood up here on and, and climbed out of the truck and I uh, was hoping that that the driver um, you know would be stopped after um, running me off the road like that, um, but he was still going. Um, I, I caught, I, I saw him as he as he went over that next steep hill, um, and that was uh, really maddening to me. Um, in the moment, I was very mad. As I was wrecking, I was very mad. I was yelling and I was saying, you know, what 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 is he, what was he doing? What is he doing? And um, and then uh, there were a couple, you know, witnesses on the scene. Um, the one saw him cross over and the others kind of saw it from a ways away. Um, but I was just so mad in the moment and also really shaken up. I mean, I was, I was shaking, um, but I, sh I should have had somebody chase after him. And so that's a regret that I have because we, yeah, we still don't really know who it was. We've, we've gotten a couple leads, um, you know people saying this and that. Uh, I don't really want to go around accusing people, pointing fingers. Um, that's just not really beneficial at this point. Um, but I do, I, you know, what I would prefer is that, you know, whoever it was would own up to it and, you know, contact us and, cause you know, they, we, we need for insurance reasons. And then, um, obviously he was breaking the law, um, crossing over into, uh, my lane and it wasn't just a little drift I mean it was completely in my lane and that was what was so scary in the moment uh, I guess yeah after after I after I got out and kind of processed it it kind of turned from anger to uh, to thankfulness um, I'm really grateful that I didn't hit him um, even if that, you know, there are a lot of people commenting on Facebook that said, well, you should have, you should have nicked him. You should have, you know, at least grazed off of him so that 
you'd have evidence or whatnot, or you know, you should have had a dash cam. You should have, um, yeah, had someone go chase him down. But you know, the the main thing I take away from the whole thing is that um, I'm alive, and you know, it could have been worse. And he's alive. You know, um, one of the things I've really tried to to think about is is um, I'd rather him be alive and not own up to it than to have, you know, if, if we'd have hit and he'd have died and I'd have died or e either one of us or gotten seriously injured, you know, I'd, I'd take this scenario over that. And um, that's something I keep reminding myself because, um, you know, he probably has a family too. Uh, he's got a life ahead of him too. Um, our semi truck can, can be replaced. Um, we're about to, to go pick up the grain with a grain vac here in about an hour. And so, um, yeah, those things can be replaced, but uh, um, a life can't be replaced. And so I've really tried to forgive him in my heart and, um, you know, not be bitter toward him. Um, but it, it is frustrating to, you know, be driving down the road and minding your own business. And, and um, you know, there was, there was school traffic and it was hills. I mean, I was, I was paying extra attention it, it was not like it was uh it's not like i'd been driving on that road for for many miles and it's not like it was a flat road and it's not like it was an easy you know it's not like i had like i had just gotten on the road i was going i was going up coming over a hill i was paying extra attention you know you you always as you're coming over the hill you're you're surveying making sure that you know um you see what's over the hill and um and so, yeah, it was, it's just, it's really frustrating to have been operating a loaded grain semi to the best of my ability in my lane and um, be run off the road and, and crash. And uh, probably, our, our truck's probably totaled. Um, we think our grain trailer, our end dump will, will hopefully be okay. But we, we just bought this truck um, this summer and spent a lot of time on it, putting on a wet kit for the end dump. My wife and I drove all the way to Illinois to pick up this end dump trailer. And we were excited to use this this truck and trailer this harvest, and um, that's just that's just the way it is, I guess. It's just bad luck, I guess. But it's really not bad luck. It's I, I am I, I do feel lucky. I feel grateful. I feel um, grateful to God. I do feel like He was watching over me. Um, if I had not been paying as close attention as I 